to sell. This is Deidre. As promised, I am going to take you out of the patio today and onto the deck and below in our yard to show you the changes that we've made. So, if you're new here, please consider joining the Deidre family by hitting that subscribe button that you see below. Click that bell so that you'll be reminded each and every time I upload a video, and I'll be happy to have you as part of the D-Dub family. For all my existing family members, thank you so much for all of your support. As always, I really do appreciate you. I need you to thumbs up as well and share this video to everyone you know. Thank you and have a great day. I will be talking through this video um, and we'll maybe insert some music as necessary. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our left down on our deck. And um, as you know, we did a new deck. We did a tear down and put this new deck on a few months ago. I did do a video on that. So if you want to take a look at that video, please, by all means, go ahead and grab that video so that you can see from beginning to end. Um, I may go through and say where I got things from, just a few things. Uh, but for the most part, a lot of this is stuff that we already had. Okay. What I did do is I mixed four plants with real plants because I do not have a green thumb. But I'm proud of this plant. This is a live plant and it's doing very well in this area. So very proud. That pot that you see along with the egg chair came from Home Depot. Again, you will see those nice battery operated lamps that we have that we use and I will give a night vision as well so that you can see how it looks at night. This table set came from Home Depot as well. It does have a coordinating bar, which you will see shortly. I do also wanna get the sectional to place down below and I'll show you that area later, but that's at a much later date that I'll be doing that. As you all know, I love the sound of water. I love being around water. So yet another water feature that's calming and relaxing. Pardon me if I'm going really fast. It is hot out here and it might have just got dark. I went up under the umbrella, which you'll see when I go downstairs, but I went up under the umbrella, which gives a lot of shade to this area. This you will see as a um, centerpiece. It is a miniature fire pit. Haven't actually used that yet. So I'm looking forward to using it. That came from Amazon. The placemats that you see, as well as the runner that you'll see a little bit closer in a minute, came from Ross. The little birdies that you see also came from Ross. If you're interested in these lights, they do light up at nighttime. They are solar. Those came from Amazon. And here's the coordinating bar that goes with this set. Actually, I take that back. It doesn't go with this set. Um, this is the, the wicker piece that I got. So pardon me. It came from Home Depot as well. And this wicker bar I've been having for over 20 years. Actually, I need to clean it up a little bit more, spruce it up, and maybe do a little spray paint. But other than that, it is nice and sturdy. When we entertain, this is stopped. And um, a lot of things are a little bit different when I entertain. So just showing you in its current state what it looks like now. Those pots that you see also came from Home Depot. The water feature, you guessed it, Home Depot.
Guys, I think someone needs to tell San Antonio that it is fall. Our highs will be in the 80, 88 degrees. Right now it's about 85 degrees and it is hot. Um, it's feeling hotter than 88 degrees. Okay, I'm gonna give you a backwards turn. Next week, we are having the painters come out, do some repairs on the home as well as paint. Our home is about 20 years old. Yeah, I think we just hit maybe 20. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of upgrades that need to be done and we're slowly working on them. Trying to do everything as efficient and cost effective as possible. Okay, so let's go downstairs to the yard. Uh, we did go ahead and put rocks and pavers in this area um, because it's been such a drought in San Antonio and we can only water uh, with the irrigation system once a week. And in the heat, your sister and my husband didn't want to go out in that heat and hand water. So this is what's happening. I shared with you this gate. Uh, we recently got these gates added and I shared that with you in our porch video, I believe. These are metal palms. Don't have to worry about them dying. I got those from Amazon and they are black. Guess what? More live plants. So far, so good, y'all. <laughs> oh, I feel a breeze. Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> All right, here's where we need a little work uh, on our little house. So this has been up just as long as the house has been up. We will be getting this retrimmed. Um, probably after the house gets painted and everything because it's not a priority at this point. Getting some more of those metal palms. Those actually are solar and light up at night. So you'll see that when I get the night vision. As you all know, I am a lover of butterflies. So you will see a theme of butterflies in our yard as well. Now, <laughs> these were beautiful like a dark reddish burgundy um, moms. Yep, they look like they're dying or they're dead, but I rest assure you, they will come back. I'll top head them and they'll come right back. I thought that my one in the front yard was dead, the yellow one, and it's been there for a year and it came back stronger than ever. Again, you'll see some more of those black palm, metal palms here. And also you'll see the stands, the double plant stands with the lamps. Those are also solar, should light up if given that we had enough light or sunlight. Um, because even though it's hot, it's like an overcast. So we recently got this done where we had the rocks put in and a brick around it. I love it. Also new, um, we put this around and I'll try to put some before pictures in here in a corner somewhere so that you can see the before and after. So we have two of those and you'll see that as we go on the other side, more butterflies on the fence. Here's our fire pit area, which <laughs> we never ever ever come out here and <laughs> use the fire pit. Normally it's too hot to use the fire pit, but we said this winter we're gonna try because it has been cold enough for us to come out here. So. Here's where we come out here. This is also a good area uh, when the sun is not extremely bright, which it just came out as I said that. Um, just to come out here and think, pray, you know, talk with God and just have your private time. I've done that. This is a very, very good area to do it. Back there, you'll see those beautiful roses, which are fake, um, but they do light up at night. They're solar. Here is our other palm. Again, we just recently got that done as well. We just recently got the fire pit also bricked in. We had that little 
the little um, stones there, but we got it uh, a little bit wider and we got the brick stone around it. So made a big difference. Over here is something that I hate, but we have to have it. We are that home that has the big green box. Thinking about doing something here creative, maybe like a little picket fence around it to cover it up, but that will be later. Uh, you see we got uh, moms there and a succulent. So hopefully the succulent will be okay. You'll see that also we have bird feeders. There's another one of those butterflies. And here's where the froggies come to play. Oh goodness, wind is picking up, so one of my pillows fell. So let's pick that up. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we wanted to try to get like a park-like um, feel in our backyard. Um, I think I mentioned we are partnering with our neighbors to get this fence replaced hopefully sometime soon. So this regarded. This is one of our park benches. And you just saw the other one. So just to give you an idea, there's the other park bench over there. So I tried to get lots of seating area for when we do have guests and people wanna come down and sit down around here, they can do so. And then we have what is a mixture of real and faux plants, low flowers. So the flowers that's in there are white, but they stopped blooming. So now it's turning green. Some of this one actually died, <laughs> I think. I'm hoping it'll come back. I still water it as if it's coming back. Now, what we are planning on doing is blocking the bottom of the deck off. Uh, but we want them to do the painting first because we didn't want any paint to get on. Um, we're thinking we're going to do the rattan under there or cedar, so we didn't want any paint to get on that. Here you see the view from in the yard. That um, umbrella is massive. That umbrella comes from Home Depot, you guessed it, and um, it's extremely heavy but it's very sturdy and it can swing out and adjust. So I love it. All right, this is a new addition also to our yard. This is what we refer to as P2. Upstairs is patio one, down here is patio two. So when my husband's grilling, and as you can see, he uses this grill. Um, <laughs> nothing to do about this grill, this grill is used. But um, as he's grilling, I can sit down here or guests can sit down here and keep them company. We put the umbrella there in case the sun is over him. He can move that umbrella to whatever position he wants so that he can have coverage. And then while the meat is cooking and vegetables or whatever's on the grill, he can sit down and have a conversation or a glass of wine or whatever right here, be comfortable. As I mentioned, um, when doing the patio video, I have these rugs in every area to coordinate. All right, let's go down this side again. This is newly added. We added the rock and pavers. Um, as again, because of the drought, grass is starting to run away from us. And then this area that I'm in right now is pretty bare. So we may end up having to get an entire new lawn we're gonna see. But I'm gonna take you on down so you can see uh, the garden area. This is another live plant, y'all, hanging in there. And that planter, Home Depot. All right, now, disclaimer. <laughs> This flower bed was so much more prettier. I'm gonna insert a picture. Um, the plants are, are doing okay. They're growing pretty good. Um, they're coming back. It got really hot and they started to die off. This plant here, I think I've been giving too much water. So I'm gonna cut back on the water on that. But the, what's the, the sore, sore eye to me 
as these purple plants, these infamous purple plants. We have done everything we could to get rid of these plants. And no matter what, they come back. They are die hard. So I don't know if I'm losing this fight. It sure looks like it because every time we pull them up, we put poison. There's the liner down on it. There's bark on top of it. It even pushes through these rocks. So it's crazy. But it is what it is. And then the rest is just, you know, the, the uh, rocks. And there's our garbage can and HVAC. Nothing fancy. This is the back of the patio. Key one, as we call it. We will, again, be sealing all of this. This will all be stained. That will be painted inside. And also the brick will be stained. So we will be making some additional changes. Again, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. Uh, we are not in a hurry. We're not going anywhere. We'll be working on getting that done as we can. It is not cheap. Okay, and then if I go back upstairs, I'm back at the door to the patio. So, this is about it. I sure hope that you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you will go ahead and thumbs up. Please feel free to make any comments if you'd like to know where I got certain things from, and I did not mention it. By all means, you can ask for that in the comments area, and I'll be more than happy to let you know. I still have not mastered the ability to link stuff, so I really need to work on that. But until then, um, I can always provide the information to you where I got it from and the price and if you'd need that. All right, with that, with that said and done, I'm going to wish you all a good day, a good week. Stay blessed. I love you. And there's absolutely nothing that you can do about it. Goodbye.
Thank you.